Craig and Celiacs. It's Kevin here with the G Free Show, and today I am going to be doing the second round of testing for the Air One gluten free cereals. Um, I have the corn flakes, which is this one right up front here, the crispy brown rice with mixed berries, which is right here, and then also have the strawberry crisp, which is right here. Um, the corn flakes and the strawberry crisp are both made with corn ingredients, so if you're allergic to corn, I'm sorry, but um, we only have one here that you can actually eat. Um, so then, really, what I wanted to do is just kind of give these quick taste tests and then after this I will just give a whole review um, just on you know which cereal out of the whole Air One line I you know really like the most as far as the gluten free ones um, so again I have the so delicious dairy free coconut milk um, big fan of this stuff so I don't know which one should I try first I'm not quite sure here um, actually you know what I'm gonna try the corn flakes first just because I imagine that those have the least amount of flavor and uh, that would be the one that I'd want to try first so Now the corn flakes is the only one that's fully organic out of this line as well. Um, the strawberry crisp and the mixed berry, um, th these are both made with their organic ingredients, but they aren't fully certified organic. So um, yeah, so I guess we'll just give this one a quick shot then. To be honest, I expected this to be much more plain than what it was really. Um, this is just made with organic milled corn and organic sea salt. That's it. So, um, I mean, the fact that it actually does carry enough taste from the corn and, you know, with the sea salt kind of accent, or accented, um, that it's actually really, you know, tolerable, I guess. Um, generally, if I'm going to be eating cereal, I like a little bit more, you know, fruit flavor in there or something along with it, honey, you know, something. But, um, no, it's actually not that bad. You know, let's switch it up. We'll go back to the rice here. So, um, again, a little bit more milk here. And I don't know if you guys have tried this, but this is my favorite. I mean, milk, not milk, you know, well, regular dairy milk or coconut milk, almond milk, uh, soy milk. The coconut milk is my favorite that I've tried. Uh, I think it just has the best taste, and I guess, well, it doesn't really have, I guess it kind of does have a texture to it. It's just kind of hard to explain. Uh, I guess it's more the thickness or viscosity of it, but uh, no, I think that stuff's all right. And I don't really feel like doing dishes, so I'm, again, I'm using the same spoon. So I don't know if you guys saw the first taste test, but I did the, um, let's see here. I did the, oh, I'm spilling all over. The crispy brown rice with salt added and without salt added. Um, then I did, let's see here. There was the chocolate one. That one was really good. And then the twice, or the rice twice one, which I actually liked a lot. It's like a crisp rice and a puffed rice. Um, that one was awesome. I was a big fan of it. That one was flavored with honey as well as this one is. Um, so, or let's just make sure real quick. But yeah, so the uh, crispy brown rice with mixed berries. This one is flavored with honey, and I mean, again, like I just said, uh, you know, I like you know fruit flavor or honey flavors. So really, the combo on these ones should be pretty good. And this has um, freeze dried raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries in it. So uh, it should be interesting to see how that goes. I can get down with this. Now oh, here we're getting into some blueberries too. So this is a strawberry crisp one. And uh, yeah, I mean, I honestly, I try to make sure that I never taste any of these before I actually do a taste test just because, well, I want to give you guys my honest opinion. You're going to see by my facial expression whether I really like it or not. So I mean, I'm pretty much forced to be honest about it anyway. And I mean, you know, the, the regular corn flakes, it's not that I don't like it, you know, it's because, I mean, obviously, like I just said, like, I mean, it has flavor with it, you know, and the sea salt with the corn, you know, it has enough flavor, but I just like more flavor, I guess, you know, I mean, that's why I usually when I'm cooking, I tend to throw in a lot of different ingredients. I like a lot of flavor, you know, whether it's, you know, I try not to over season it too much, but I try to throw in other ingredients that just kind of add a good, good amount of flavor to it, I guess. I mean, I like to be able to taste it, you know, fully, I guess. Now this one involves a whole lot more chewing. If you thought that that ratio was good, like this one is 
a ton of strawberries. I mean, you can maybe see, I don't know if Ken Burns will let me zoom in far enough here, but I mean, just from kind of quick scooping out of there, bam, you know, I mean, there's pretty good chunks in there. So, and it, you know, it's still freeze dried, so it's, it hasn't really softened up too much from the milk yet. So between that and the actual, you know, corn flakes in it, it's, it's quite a bit of chewing, that's for sure. That's good, I like that. Um, out of this episode right here, I would say that my favorite is still the crispy brown rice with the uh, mixed berries. Um, I just really like the flavor of the crispy brown rice that Erwan makes. It's just, I mean, it's good, you know, sweet enough, and then, you know, really that honey flavor, it really does come out, you know, through it, I guess, and it's it's good. Definitely a big fan. I mean, the cornflakes, they're, they're good, don't get me wrong, but um, I'm just partial to the crispy brown rice, I guess, so... Yeah, that's really everything for today though, so yeah, look forward to the mini pops episode next, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.